This strongman marathon is something that no one has ever done or has even thought of doing. I just wanted to do something that was so out of the box outrageous that as soon as you see it, you're like, this can't be done. I'm Michael Morelia. I'm 29 years old. I'm from San Diego, California. I have an identical twin brother, so I've been a very competitive person my entire life. The hardest thing I've ever had to face was actually just coming to my own. I was gonna be on track of becoming a doctor. It wasn't until I found my own way, my own voice, where I was like, you know what? Fitness is my real passion, and I just took a leap of faith. I quit the whole pre-med thing. I built into my own. I'm building a life out of it, and I'm never gonna look back. I've always been pushing the boundaries of my fitness potential, but I've never done something to this scale. My training prep for this event has just been following CrossFit workouts, but the main thing that comes down is just consistency. I'm not missing any days. I'm here five, six days a week, and sometimes I'm hitting it twice a day, and that's where I'm gonna shine. I've already done the event at least 20 times in my head. Carrying this absurd amount of weight for over 12 hours is gonna be outright ridiculous. It's a lot of weight to hold for a long period of time. The first thing that's gonna go is your core. I have to make sure this is ready to rock and actually able to sustain myself for that long endurance. I just need to push the boundaries of what the human body is actually capable of doing. We're here in Utah right now, staying at a hotel, just waiting for tomorrow because tomorrow, we're combining 26 miles of pure weight vest running with a whole lot of strongman movements, whether it's a keg toss, yoke carry, sled drag, sled push. It's where heavy weight meets running. And we gotta make sure we're up before sunrise, head across the highway, make our way north. As soon as we get into these salt flats, set everything up. I mean, it's pretty much just game on from there. It's just about six o'clock. Sun's gonna come up in about an hour. It's like 15 degrees right now, but we're just outside of Utah. On our way to the Salt Flats, gonna hit the first ever Strongman Marathon. I can't feel my shoulder, and I don't wanna quit here. I wanna keep going. Shoulders are definitely still burnt out. On to the next vest run and then we got that tire. We'll see how those first few flips feel. The biceps are shredded, back's burnt up, my boobs are torn up from the salt. If the yoke, I'm gonna have to put a top layer back on because the bar is gonna be freezing cold. Six hours, 12 minutes. We have nine miles left. The yoke carry, kettlebell carry, kettlebell toss. <sighs> We're almost done. Way ahead of schedule. Something no one go, brother. has ever done. <laughs> Be a little bit more cognizant about what you write down on paper and say you can do, because that was fing hell. I'm still glad we started before sunrise and got those burpees out of the way. If we did it in any other order, there's no possible way I would have got this done. Gear was perfect the entire way through. Shorts, there's no rips, there's no nothing. This uh, mid weight micro fleece kept me warm the entire time. Today was wild. Never do I get opportunities to come out here and you know inspire other people to do other things like this and I'm just pumped for the next feat. 
This was something I thought was crazy and like really couldn't be done. As soon as I crossed, I just remember collapsing to the ground like this just happened. Anything that you think is too far-fetched and outside the box and not possible, just give 100% effort. Even if you fail, you're a lot closer than if you were just still sitting on the couch. Any obstacle you kind of overcome, it just gets you ready to overcome the next one and the next one. So even though this giant feat was purely physical, it translates to any other obstacle in life.